Live every day to the fullest. You never get that day back. My name is Simon Konichnia, and I am presenting on my grandpa, Tim Heath. Tim was born on May 18, 1960, in Chamberlain, South Dakota. His parents were Carol Ann Altwicker and August Franklin Heath. He had hazel eyes and blonde hair, and his siblings were Deborah, Pamela, Lori, Kevin, and Jody. Tim lived in Rapid City, South Dakota, and later on, Kimball, South Dakota. He remembers living in a warm house with a large backyard and always had his own room. Tim lived in a large labor neighborhood, which granted him lots of friends to play with. His favorite meal was fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Tim started school at the age of five and attended Robbinsdale through fourth grade. He later moved to Kimball and started school there in fifth grade and attended there through his senior year. He walked to school every day and his favorite teacher was Miss Childs. His favorite subject was math and he loved playing with his friends on the playground. Tim loved to ride horses on his farm and he played tetherball with Kenny, Richard, Brian, Rod, Ronnie, and Gary. Tim also played matchbox cars in his free time and went to church. He was, his chores were mowing the lawn, taking the garbage out, and cleaning his room. Holidays were his favorite thing that he remembers. He loved Easter, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, birthdays, and Christmas. He remembers going to 4th of July parades. As a teenager, he liked to watch movies, drive around, hang out at the pool, play pool, play foosball, and play pinball machines. Rock and disco were popular music. He remembers when John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon were president and John F. Kennedy was assassinated, Vietnam, and the moon landing on, a, on the mission of Apollo 11. His first jobs were working on the family farm. They did custom grain and hay. He remembers mowing hay all summer with long days and no one to talk to. Truck stop. He also worked at a truck stop, full service gas station as a truck driver and a carpenter. He currently owns and runs Heath Lumber Company. He met Nancy in high school and married her on September 18, 1976. Their wedding colors were white and lavender. They spent their honeymoon in Kimball, and what he learned from his marriage is that it takes an equal partnership to have a successful marriage. His first car was a 1970 Mercury Montego, and he got it for about $1,000. Now, I think that you agree with me that Tim has lived his life to the fullest. Thank you.